just expect so much from you. It's like, I don't know it. Mm. But it's like, all I can say is, there's nothing I can do about it, you know? Like, it's not like, and what I mean by that is like, people gonna talk, it's gonna be haters. Someone might get one day, like, you can get sick. But it's like, it's always going to be things in life that you got to go through. That you just got to deal with it. I'm not bothered by, like, the show because I had a good time yesterday. It was lit. One thing I expressed to my team, though, like, I told them I didn't really want to do big sets right now just because I am on an upcoming stage. So I kind of really just wanted to start over fresh, you know, and just perform, like, you know. But... It's like you can't even do that neither. I'm an upcoming artist. Like, not everybody's going to know my stuff. I don't know. You just got to deal with it, you know? It is what it is. Like, I guarantee you my next show, I'm hitting the backflip or speaker. <laughs> and after I hit the backflip with a speaker, I'm crowd surfing that. Who there? How many people there? Since you want a show, I'm going to give y'all a show. So my next show, I'm popping out in my thong. I'm wearing a thong with some Ugg boots. Just a thong and some Ugg boots. That ass. And I'm back flipping off the speakers. Y'all want to show them again? <laughs> I'm going to give you. You just got to be patient. I don't know why I let these weak ass blogs get to me so bad. I normally don't let get to me, but this time I let them get to me. Cord. How you, how you say her name? Cool Lorraine. Coy Lorraine. But I ain't gonna lie, I like that jail. <laughs> I'm out the better things. I'm only doing stuff to make me elevate. I only want people around that's gonna make me better. <laughs> I don't know the words, but let's go ahead and go to the intro. <laughs> What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy. This your boy, Nino. Welcome to the stripper game. Here we have Cola Ray gets emotional about her latest show or performance. And there's four things that I take away from her reaction video. Number one, building a brand. Come on. Number two, dealing with negative feedback. I like this right here. Number three, growth as an artist. Come on. And number four, all attention is good attention. Number one, when you're building a brand, it's going to take time to get to the point where you get that type of validation. That validation like Drake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to take time to get to that. And as you notice, uh, it took Drake years Worst. to become this big star like he is now. Means you're going to continue doing what you need to do to make it happen. This is why I tell you that you need to enjoy your passion. Whatever your passion is, you need to enjoy what you're doing. In this, in this particular situation, we're gonna talk about the passion for artistry. You know what I'm saying? Being an artist. Because I'm an artist and <laughs> that's what I'm gonna talk about. So if you have a passion for being an artist, people are not gonna like what you're doing. They're not gonna like your content. They ain't like your music. They don't care. You sitting there putting fire emojis, listen to my song, spamming everybody. No, nobody care about what you're doing. Only person that cares is you. So if the only person that cares you, you need to love to do it. If you love to do it, you can continue to do it day in and day out. It's just like what I'm doing. Um, you know, Monday through through Wednesday, I'm on YouTube with these videos. Thursday, I got some different content. And Friday, um, I usually gonna drop a music video or some musical content. I'm in the process of building my brand. And I understand that building a brand is gonna take time. Just like I said in previous videos before, it's gonna take about five years for people to believe what you're doing. And the only way you're gonna get to that point is you're gonna have to stay consistent in producing content. As you stay persistent, your content is gonna get better. You're gonna understand what you're good at and what you're not good at. It's, it's simple, it's, it's, it's just like, it's life, it's life. And it goes into my next point. Number two, dealing with negative feedback. I like this right here. 
you got to understand that you're choosing to be the greatest. Come on. And the greatest is on is going to always receive all the negative feedback. Look at LeBron James. LeBron James is my favorite player, I ain't gonna lie. LeBron James and Drake, y'all can't say nothing about them. Those, those, those are my guys, those are my guys. LeBron James, he lost in the playoffs, so everybody's saying he's done for. But now, he got all this attention because everybody believed that he can make it happen. And when you're the best at what you're doing, yeah, yeah. you're gonna have the most negative feedback ever because people are expecting you to fail and because people are expecting you to fail when you come through, this is how your fame raises up. This is how it works. You're gonna get negative feedback. It's part of the game. You just gotta know how to deal with it. And that brings me to my next point. Number three, your growth as an artist. Many people think that when you come into the game that you're supposed to know how to write, you're supposed to know how to rap, you're supposed to know how to flow, you're supposed to know how to do a video. You're supposed to know how to have stage presence. You're supposed to have. You're supposed to know how to have interview presence. All these stuff. These stuff take time. You ain't lying. You ain't never been in a situation where stuff is just given to you. You work at a job. You gotta learn how. You gotta learn what to do at the job to become the best person at the job. It's, it's anything. If you're going to school, you have to learn the steps to get to the conclusion, or you gotta go through the grades to get to. 12th grade, first grade to 12th grade. Yeah, yeah. It's the same concept. So you're not gonna come in as this you know, lyrically uh, talented artist. Just those are anomalies. You gotta put your work in. And hard work trumps everything. As long as you put your work in, you're gonna experience growth as an artist. So you gotta understand people is not taking consideration of your growth. They're not considering the fact that you don't make the same music that you used to. You're a different person. You analyze stuff different. As you age, you're gonna eat, your mind is gonna grow and it's gonna change. And you gotta expect the same thing when you are an artist or you're developing a brand. It's gonna take time. So as long as it take time, just be patient. Come on. And that brings me to my fourth point. All attention is good attention. Come on. Because what's happening right now, I'm making a video by Cora Ray. I'm making a video by Cora Ray, so everybody's gonna be searching this video. You're gonna be looking at how, how she reacted, her performance was whack, and then they're also gonna look at what? Her single. All attention is good attention. Yeah, boy! We need it. Negative attention. The, the, what, what does drama come from? Drama come from what? Negative attention negative things people love drama they love it they love when you're talking about something negative look at all these reality shows all these stuff that's going on on tv what is selling drama drama so all attention is good attention but you notice what she said though she said she's gonna hop out of speaking the throne that's what she said so therefore you know all attention is good attention because sex sells too. When you're building a brand, you need to expect that you're gonna get negative feedback. You need to expect that you need to grow as an artist or a brand. And you need to understand that all attention is good attention. After looking at this video, I realized that I'm inspired and I need to do more to help my community. So I'm gonna be providing feedback on the growth process of building a brand as an artist. If you want to communicate with me, I'm going to be setting up a group down in the link. So you click the links below and we can talk about anything about marketing, about building a brand, all that. But don't be dropping no fire emojis or listen to my song. I don't, I don't care nothing about that. It just need to be a group about ideas, equipment, marketing strategies, and it's going to be in the link below. If you like everything that I'm saying and you want to support your boy Nino, go ahead and click the links below. This your boy Nino. Welcome to the Stripper Gang, and I'm out. Peace.